Hi, dear friends. Welcome to my prayer channel. My name is Fernando Perez, and tonight I am praying powerful prayers to break every evil snare and traps of the enemy against your life. The Bible says, put on the full armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh or blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against a spiritual host of weakness in heavenly places. Let us pray. Dear God, in the precious and wonderful name of Jesus, I'm praying. I'm standing with everyone to the sound of my voice. And I'm praying, Father God, specifically that you break, that you release your power, your anointing to break and to destroy every evil trap, every evil snare of the devil, every network of demons that are fighting against this man, fighting against this woman, fighting against their families. Father God, I pray that you release the anointing that destroy the works of the devil. I'm praying tonight, Father God, for a hedge of protection. Even as we go into this time of prayer, I ask you that you release mighty angels on our behalf. Let your angels be like a wall of fire protecting us from every retaliation, every evil attack, every network of demons fighting against us. Father God, cover us under your blood. We ask you for deliverance. We we ask you for powerful breakthroughs to take place in the life of my brother and my sister. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Now, Father God, I stand in faith according to Matthew chapter 18 and verse 18. Your word declares that what we bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and what we loose on earth will be loosened in heaven. Father God, I pray right now in agreement with my brother and my sister, Lord God, against every evil snare of the devil against this man, this woman's family. Father God, I pray that every evil snare that the enemy placed in front of this man, this woman's family, Lord God, to cause division in this home, to cause failure in this relationship, to cause, uh, Lord God, separation in this family, to destroy this family. Father God, we pray that you give a command to your angels, Father God, to enter this man, this woman's home. Lord God, in every evil snare, everything that the enemy is planning against this family, to split, to destroy, to separate this family. We pray, Father God, break the snares of the devil. I pray, Father God, that every snare that my brother and my sister is not seeing, they're not paying attention, they are not aware of. I pray that you break, that you remove. Lord God, give a command to your angels to go before my brother and my sister to remove the snares of the devil against their families. Father God, we ask you, let your kingdom don't come and your will be done in this family. I pray, Lord God, that you break every, Lord God, demonic tension that is going on in this home. I pray that you remove, Lord God, heaviness and demonic weight. I pray, Father God, that every a snare, Lord God, to cause a divorce, to cause a separation, to split this family, to put the kids, Lord God, on drugs, Lord God, to keep the children away from their parents, to keep the parents away from their kids. Lord God, I pray that everything the enemy is trying to accomplish against this family, let it be completely broken and destroyed in the precious name of Jesus. I command the devil, come out of this family. I command you, devil, network of demons, evil assignments of the devil of snares and traps to destroy this family. I say, loose this family right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose this home, loose this family. We command your assignment to be completely broken for the glory of God. 
also I pray, Father God, for everyone to the sound of my voice, Lord God, that is in need of deliverance from the snares of the enemy in the workplace. Father God, I am praying with people today. Lord God, they are afraid they're going to lose their job. They're afraid, Lord God, they're going to lose their career. They're afraid, Lord God, because people are speaking against them. People are putting a snare in front of them. People are stabbing them in the workplace. People are lying against them. Father God, every evil snare in the workplace, everything to defeat, to destroy their career, to destroy their workplace, to destroy their finances. We say, devil, take your filthy hands. We call fire to destroy the works of the devil. Every evil snare to destroy my brother, my sister, Lord God, in the workplace. We say, be broken by the blood of Jesus. We command to come out. Come out, devil. Lose your grip. Lose your power. Leave this job. Leave my brother, my sister's job. Leave their career in the name of Jesus. Father God, everything the enemy is planning against my brother and my sister in the workplace. Lord God, we break its power. We pray, Father God, what the enemy is intending for evil. We pray that you turn for good. We pray, Father God, that which the enemy was playing, Lord God, for the loss, for the, my brother, my sister to lose their job. I pray for promotion. I pray that you promote them into a higher level. I pray that you promote them, Lord God. I pray for salary increase. I pray for breakthroughs in the workplace. I pray that you promote them what the enemy intended for evil. I pray, Father God, that you raise my brother, my sister to glorify your name in the workplace. Lord God, I declare that the doors that you open for my brother, my sister, no evil spirit, no demon, no snare of the devil will be able to shut the doors. We declare and we decree victory today. Come on, people of God, lift up your voice. Don't be silent. Lift up your voice and pray with me. Lift up your workplace. Lift up the areas in your life that you need a deliverance from God. Every snare, every trap of the devil against your life. Ask God to set you free right now. Father God, I pray that every snare, Lord God, against their finances, Lord God, I pray that you set them free. I pray, Lord God, that you break the spirit of lack, that you break the spirit of loss, that you break the spirit, Lord God, of setback in the areas of finances. Lord God, is one law after another. Father God, I pray that you'll break this cycle. This cycle must end today. This cycle must come to an end in the name of Jesus. I pray that you deliver them, that you break every yoke of bondage, that you set this man, this woman free for the glory of your name. Father, I lift each and every one of them to the sound of my voice. I pray pray, Father God, for breakthroughs and miracles in the workplace. I pray for breakthroughs and miracles in their career. I pray for breakthroughs and miracles in their finances. I pray that you bless the work of their hands. I pray that you remove every snare, every stumbling block, everything that is hindering, Lord God, my brother, my sister, to walk, Lord God, in the flow of your blessings. I pray God Almighty, bless my brother, my sister. Break the cycle of loss and lack. I pray, Lord God, bless them. Father God, now I pray that you break and that you destroy every snare of the devil, Lord God, in the areas of relationship. I pray for this man. I pray for this woman, Father God, that they keep falling into the snare of the devil, Lord God, when it comes to relationship. They're always getting involved with the wrong people. The enemy always send the wrong people into their lives to mess them up and to steal their blessings. God Almighty, I plead your blood over the situation. I ask you that you deliver, that you break the snares of the devil. Father God, I pray that you remove every evil assignment of the devil, Lord God, to mess with my brother and my sister in the areas of relationship. 
I believe God Almighty that you can bless this person with godly relationship. Lord God, I believe that you can bless them with people that when they come together, they connect, they will be powerful in the land. They will be powerful. They will be able to accomplish great things for your kingdom. I pray, Father God, break the snares of wrong relationship. Break the stronghold of failure in relationship. And I pray that they'll be able to succeed in relationship. I pray that they'll be able to grow in this area. I pray that they'll be blessed in this area. I pray, Father God, break the cycles. Break the evil snares. Father God, I pray that you remove the abusers out of their lives. I pray that you remove the manipulators out of their lives. Remove those that comes only to take, Lord God, the advantage of them. I pray that you remove those that comes only to steal their peace and their joy, only comes to, them, to mess them up. I pray that you set them free. I pray that you break every yoke. I pray that you bring deliverance to everyone to the sound of my voice. God Almighty, I declare freedom. I declare that every familiar is spirit. There are people praying with me, Lord God, right now that they are dealing with familiar spirits. Lord God, they are dealing with spirits that keep them in bondage. Lord God, when they want to do good, when they want to move ahead with their lives, they are always getting, Lord God, caught up into the wrong people. Father God, I pray that you set them free from familiar spirits of failure. Also, I pray, Father God, that you break the snares of the devil that causes losses and failure. God Almighty, I ask you, deliver them. Let them be completely free. Let them be delivered from the spirit of loss and failure. This man, this woman, they're suffering so much because no matter how hard they try, they always end up in failure. Lord God, it seems that they never get ahead. It seems that they take one step forward and two step backwards. God Almighty, this thing ends tonight. This thing ends right now in the name of Jesus. I command unclean spirits, demonic powers of failure. Loose this man, this woman. I send you back to the pit of hell. I pray, Father God, that you touch this man. I pray that you touch this woman. I pray that you remove, Lord God, every evil assignment of Satan against this man, this woman. I pray, Father God, that they'll be able to succeed. I pray that they'll be able to get ahead. I pray, Lord God, that they'll be able to see, Lord God, good in the land of the living. I pray, Father God, that you set them completely free. I pray that you revive their soul. I pray that you revive their prayer life. I pray, Father God, that you remove deception from their lives. I pray that you remove, Lord God, everything that hinders, that blocks them to grow spiritually. Lord God, I pray that you set them free. Also, I pray, Father God, that you break and that you destroy, God Almighty, every snare of the devil to hinder them, to grow, Father God, in their walk with you. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you deliver them in your precious mighty name. I ask you, Lord God, for victory. I pray, Lord God, that you raise this man, this woman, to be mighty warriors for your kingdom. I pray, Father God, that you raise this person to walk in victory. I pray that you remove, Lord God, every setback, every trap of the devil, everything that keeps this man, this woman in bondage. I pray that you break his strongholds. I I pray, Lord God, the areas that my brother, my sister, they keep struggling with. They keep falling, Lord God, into the same thing over and over again. I pray, give them the power. Give them the grace to overcome. Give them the anointing to overcome. I pray, God Almighty, let my brother, my sister grow spiritually. I pray that you break the snares, everything, Lord God, that hinders them. Demonic assignments of the devil, evil powers, Lord God, that operate 
operate in the life of my brother, my sister, that when they want to pray, when they want to study the word, when, when they want to intercede, when they want to worship, Lord God, they get so distracted. Lord God, some of them, the snare of the devil is a, Lord God, is distractions. Lord God, they get so distracted. Lord God, when they try to grow spiritually, they get distraction after distractions. God Almighty, I pray, break the spirit of distraction. Every spirit that keep them in bondage. Lord God, I ask you to set them free. My brother, my sister, receive freedom. I declare freedom to your life. I declare that every assignment of the devil against your life is broken today. I speak freedom. I ask God right now to release power inside of you, the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, I thank you because everyone that is praying with me, you have great things. If this man is here praying with me, if this woman is here praying with me, Lord God, it's because you have great things. They are not here in vain, Lord God. This is not a coincidence. If they are here praying with me, Lord God, it's because you have great things in store for them. Lord God, and so I pray that you raise this man, this woman to walk in victory. I pray, Father God, that you destroy the networks of devils, every network, every evil coming against them. I declare defeated. I declare destroyed. Father God, according to Matthew 18, 18, your word says that what we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we loose on earth is loose in heaven. And so we bind the powers of darkness. We bind the networks of demons. We bind the forces of hell fighting against my brother, my sister. And we loose the blessings we lose we speak breakthroughs and miracles in deliverance and spiritual strength so that my brother my sister can stand for such a time as this come on people of God receive the strength of the Lord receive the grace of the Lord receive I declare that tonight you will sleep in peace I declare that tonight you'll be able to have dreams and visions I pray father God let this night even while they sleep I I pray that you speak to them. Lord God, in the middle of the night, I pray that they'll begin to have dreams and visions that will point them, Lord God, into their purpose, into their calling in life. I'm praying with people, Father God, that they need answers. I'm praying with people, Father God, they are believing you for answers. They are crying out for answers. They need answers. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do next. They don't know, Lord God, the decisions, the right decisions to make. And so I pray, while they sleep tonight, Lord God, instead of having demonic dreams, instead of having nightmares, instead of having insomnia, instead of having, Lord God, demonic dreams, I pray that they'll have godly dreams. I pray that you begin to speak them in the middle of the night, clear dreams from heaven. I pray, Father God, that every evil snares, even in the middle of the night, Lord God, while they try to sleep, I pray that you break and that destroy Lord God, satanic dreams, demonic dreams, Lord God, evil dreams from the pit of hell. I pray that you cancel and I pray, Father God, that you give them godly dreams that will point them in the right direction. Lord God, I believe that you're still speaking to dreams and visions in the middle of the night. Lord God, the same way that you spoke to your servants, Lord God, in Bible days to dreams and visions, you still speaking to this day. And so I pray for dreams and visions. I pray, Lord God, for clear directions in the middle of the night. I pray, Father God, that you cancel, Lord God, satanic dreams. I pray that you cancel, Lord God, sexual dreams. I pray that you cancel, Lord God, witchcraft dreams. I pray that you cancel, Father God, every demonic assignment in the middle of the night. And I pray that you give them clear instructions in the middle of the night, in the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you, God Almighty, for what you're doing. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Come on, people of God, raise up your hands to heaven. Begin to thank God for what He's doing in your life. Begin to praise the Lord for what He's doing right now. Come on, lift up your holy hands to heaven. Say, God Almighty, I receive my deliverance. I receive my miracle. I receive my breakthrough. Say, Lord God, fill me with your spirit. I can now walk in victory without your Holy Spirit working in my life. Say, Lord God, I repent of all my sins. 
If I have opened any door to the devil, I repent, I renounce, and I let it go. And I ask you that you set me free and that you raise me up for such a time as this. Say, dear God, I surrender my life to you. And I ask you, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Raise me up to be a mighty testimony in your hands. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness, for your goodness, and for what you're doing in my life right now. Thank you, God Almighty. Amen. And praise God. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, take a deep breath. Receive deliverance. I declare deliverance is coming upon you. I declare deliverance. I declare miracles. I declare breakthroughs. I declare the blessings of heaven coming upon you in the precious and wonderful name of Jesus. Receive your freedom. I declare a new day. I declare a new season. I declare the strength of God in the inside, the strength of God to walk in victory, the strength of God to walk in the will of God. If you receive, raise your hands to heaven. Let me pray this final prayer over you, my brother and my sister. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. My brother and my sister, I bless you in the name of the Lord. I declare that every evil trap, every evil snare, every demonic snare of the devil is broken from your life. I declare victory in every area of your life. If you receive, say amen. Say, I receive in the name of Jesus. Amen and praise God. Hallelujah. What a great blessing. What a great joy, my brother, my sister. I know that God is doing something powerful in your life. Receive your miracle. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I declare that something powerful is taking place in your life right now. Receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Also, like this video, subscribe to the channel, uh, share this video with your friends and family. God bless you.